The internet is back! ChatGPT has internet again, yay! And it's called Browse with Bing, and I'm gonna show you how to activate it, and then we're going to take the whole thing for a test drive. Okay, down next to your name, you click on the three dots, and then you go to Settings and Beta. Click on Beta Features, Features, and then Browse with Bing. You need to slide that to the right. You're opening a new chat, that's important, and then you click on GPT-4, and then you can select if you want to use plugins or browse with Bing. Actually, Jeff GPT-3 doesn't have that yet, so you need to be a pro user to use browse with Bing feature. So we click on that, browse with Bing, and now we say, give me a table of the 10 biggest cities in the US and their population size and their area and their state. Okay, now it's accessing Bing, browsing the 10 biggest cities. Um, goes to Wikipedia, that's interesting. Scrolling, reading. <laughs> Here's a table of the 10 biggest cities in the US with their population size, um, 2022 estimate area and state. Super cool. New York, LA, Chicago, Houston, Phoenix. I'm not checking this for actual correctness. If you had asked that chat GPT before, it would probably have put a table to you as well. And that's might or might not have been accurate if it had the data in the training set or not. But it would answer you anyway. So it would create these what we call hallucinations, where it would give you an answer even though it might be false. This accessing Wikipedia and the internet is very likely to be true. And let's give it another test. I have a blog post here on this page and I want to ask ChatGP to summarize me that blog post. Please summarize me the following blog post with five bullets. And I put that in. Okay, it says browsing. We know that already. Clicking, TonyRoads.com, scrolling page. It's funny, like it does that reading. Here's a summary of the blog post in five bullets. There you go. This is pretty useful. Like you can put in your homepage, you can analyze the writing style of your blog post. I could see in numerous uh, applications to do that. And this is pretty fun. And let's give it another test. Say, please find the top uh, five top rated restaurants in downtown New York and give me a short description, two sentences each about their cuisine. Okay, browsing, top five rated restaurants in downtown New York. Let's see what it comes up with. Finish browsing. Okay, we have to click on regenerate. There was probably an error happening. Let's do this again. Oh, accessing TripAdvisor now. That's what we want. Looking for reviews. That's smart. Uh-huh, trying something new. Okay. Clicking on timeout.com, whatever that is. I haven't heard of that. Here are top-rated restaurants in downtown in New York with a short description of their cuisine. Gage and Tolner, blend of old New York charm, modern finesse. Crown Shy, for a complete list and details, you might want to check the full article on Timeout. So it actually pulled it from an article. Okay. So it took one set from one article. That happened with the browser plugins as well, that if you search for something, they would find a blog article that would reference whatever you were searching for, and just pull the data from this one blog article. So not too excited about this example. Um, let's do one more. Find me the most recent scientific statistic and productivity on productivity increase I wanted to write of small businesses using AI and give me the source. I had a typo in there. Let's see if it can handle that. Uh-huh, accessing a Forbes article, all right. This is very useful if you write postings about stuff that is very recent or um, studies or scientific research. Over 60% of business owners believe AI will enhance productivity with 64% asserting that AI will boost business productivity and 42% think it will streamline job processes. And we can click on the one and we get to the actual article on Forbes 24 top AI statistics and trends in 2023. This is super helpful. This is really cool. I have missed that. Even though plugins could do that before, I think the native integration works really well as far as I can see. I'm gonna give this more test drive. I hope you are going to do this too. If this holds up what it's promising, this is going to be super huge. This could change everything. If you like what you're seeing, hit like on this video and subscribe. And this way you will help other small businesses finding this channel and helping them grow their business with AI. Thanks.